All right. Do you like that, Zach? I like this beat. I like this. I know it's like a simple. Oh. Oh, okay. Oh. You get a little oh. funk, flex, funk flex bomb. This is what we do on the Zach Dressler Show. <laughs> What's up, world? And hey, welcome to the Zach Dressler Show. Hell um, yeah. I'm Zach Dressler. Uh, across from me is my uh, producer extraordinaire. Indy. Extraordinaire. Extraordinaire. Yes. Right? My name is Indy. Yes. Hello. Yeah. Welcome, everybody. It's the Zach Dressler Show. And this is, uh, I'm in Indy's, one of Indy's rooms here doing this. Uh, we are socially distanced, safe. He's wearing his mask. I am, I am not. Uh, well, he, he, you're, you're the, um, you know, you're the talent. You're sure. The real talent. Yeah. I mean, but you're, you know, listen, you're part of this show as well. You know, I, I want you to feel comfortable. If you want me to put on the mask, I'll put on the mask. You know, like talent or not, I'm not going to be one of those crazy Ellen DeGeneres talent people. That's just going to be rude and mean. <laughs> But only fake. Well, I was you know? I was thinking of canceling you, so. <laughs> <laughs> which is, it's happened before, you know. And I'm sure I'll be canceled from potential jobs I'm applying to because of the show and the <laughs> things I'm going to say. Um, but, but they can never take the show away from you. No, they cannot. People yeah. can just unsubscribe or not, you know, subscribe. However, you want to do it. You just know? not subscribe. <laughs> you know, it, it's hey, it's, more people are actually doing that. So actually, uh, not subscribing. Yeah, not subscribe. <laughs> yeah, oh, absolutely. I'm probably going to have more people not subscribe than unsubscribe at this point. Um, <laughs> but no, this is just you know, I'm Zach Dressel. This is a show that uh, I've been wanting to do for a, a very long time. I mean, I've been in the media industry for 16, 17 years now. Like, uh, you know, started at Sirius XM Radio, was there for a very long time, produced shows as well as was a co-host and an on-air talk producer for uh, a variety of shows. But I was there for NFL. I was there for Cosmo Radio. I helped a little bit with some some music stations, um, other sports stations, and other that were not NFL related. So you're actually more versed at podcasting or at least kind of have a good well, background in doing this kind of uh, sure. setup it's yeah. funny because there was when i first started in radio which was 2004 when i went to sirius it wasn't sirius xm it was just sirius xm was a different uh company i remember that yeah, i'm old enough it yeah. was completely completely different um you know there wasn't podcasting you know, podcasting really didn't uh, happen, I want to say, until 08, 09, really, at the very beginning. In the, yeah, like in the... Because, you know, it's been around... It's like an ancient medium, which is, is so weird. Well, but radio like, is, for sure. Radio... Oh, I mean, podcasting it, yeah. in, in this digital realm. I mean, ancient in that it's probably... It probably existed before 2000, but in, like, the most remedial regard in the... Like, literally, here's an audio file. Have fun with it if you yeah. can download and it. And I don't think people <laughs> called it podcasting. I don't know where the term podcasting came from. I don't know what... You know, I don't know who coined it. I don't or, know. I think it was Apple. I think it was, was Apple. It? Probably. Because, like... Uh, I don't know. It's 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 a whole big thing. But like what I was what I was saying is just like, at least you have a background in it. In that yeah. it already feels natural. It already feels like we're at at series. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? and, and this is this is you know this is something I've been wanting. Like I said, I've been wanting to do is just like have a talk show ish podcast with video, but a channel that I can also put other creative content throughout the week or throughout the month on it. You know, invite friends on. Uh, other, yeah, the other, more the merrier. Exactly, like on a weekly basis to talk about the things they're doing, the creative things they're 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 doing, or their sh or their business ideas they may have. I mean, it's 2020, and you know, uh, we're in lockdown. We're stuck here. You know, everyone's yeah. social distancing. I feel like you are probably the sixth or seventh person I've seen out of my inner sanctum circle. Yeah, you know, which includes basically my girlfriend, my cat, my dog. Uh, my brother every once in a while, his girlfriend, yeah, you know, and maybe a couple of random friends that, you know, we've done social distancing things outside. Right. Right. Um, but, you know, I mean, everyone's got, you know, this is, I, I just, I need to feel like other than, you know, the job that I, I have been tasked with the freelance job or, or the current job I might be in, I need to have a creative output because in the end, right. you know, you're, you know, you're only going to be able to show what you can do uh you know creatively right through, through mediums like this youtube or instagram or right Facebook. and it's like it, just the fact that we could just be chilling and somebody could be like you know wa washing their house but they know you yeah they, you know they know your their your shtick and that like it's just it's it's something they can have on that that, that that's more uh, familiar than and if it goes somewhere whatever. it goes somewhere and if it doesn't you know what at least this is fun like yeah. i'm enjoying myself doing right this, this exactly. is like this is kind of like therapy and by the way thank you for this graphic 
How about that graphic? My girlfriend, uh, Victoria Nelson, made this graphic today. Thank you, Victoria. And uh, like a like a good uh, entrepreneur, I delegated that task to her. Uh, <laughs> Listen, it's uh, important. It's important. It's important to delegate. But I, I was like, um, I'm, I'm really busy this week. Would you mind helping me with the graphic? And she was like, I'd love to. I just finished an art class. I'm, she finished an art class last week, which was 12 weeks long. Wow. Online. Wow. Super Every cool. single day for 12 weeks? It's one, once a week for 12 weeks, okay, but it's a, a three-hour class. Okay, that's yeah. a lot. And um, finished it, and I was like, hey, you want another homework assignment? <laughs> See, it, but she's like, this is much easier. Thank you. Do you find yourself... Excuse me. No, no, no worries. Do you find yourself, you know, because we're working from home, everyone's doing things from home, do you find yourself, like, having this weird... Because, <clears throat> I, you know, I talked about this with my girlfriend, uh, this weird... Um, a dichotomy of like, you know, you're working from home and you, you know, you want to treat work separately from business, you know, business for se- for separately oh from God. home, but you end yeah. up just crossing lines. I mean, there's times that like, you know, I have a bad day and I can't go anywhere and I just end up taking out, but like you end up helping each other out in these random work tasks that you have to do or a creative tasks. For right. example, Victoria, help you out with this. Right. Like today, my, my, my I helped my girlfriend out with tons of her projects. She's a voiceover actress, actress in general, really funny comedian. Yeah. And you know, what's her name? Uh, Carrie Kavanaugh. Oh, yes, Carrie Kavanaugh. Carrie Kavanaugh. At, at Carrie Kavanaugh. At, at Carrie Kavanaugh. She is hysterical. She is, I mean, she's a brilliant, brilliant, brilliant creative mind and just a, a funny human being to be around. And I, I love, I don't know. I, I don't know what I would do if I didn't have her for this in this quarantine or in my Me life. Me too, right man. Now. Me too. Like seriously, like whatever, whatever lottery we both struck. Yeah. Uh, we, we struck, but that's, sure. that, but that's what I'm yeah. saying. It's just like, you know, I, I find myself, you know, we're helping each other. She does this joke where she's like, I'm the CEO of this house. Or I'm the CEO of funny. <laughs> I'm the CEO of this. And I'm, I'm like, oh, great. I'm your, I'm just your, your, you know, executive assistant. assistant. Yeah. You know what I mean? <laughs> uh, like today we yeah. were shooting some fun stuff and you know, she, she helped out and she gave some great creative direction, you know, but it's, it's, <laughs> you know, there was obviously like, I had my vision, she had hers. And I'm like, listen, this is my freaking video right. that I want to make here. So let's do it my way. Laying down the law. You know, yeah. yeah. And, 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 you know, and, and, you know, there's times where it's just, you know, like certain things work out better right. on her ideas and certain things work out better on ours. But I, I, I found this, it, it's interesting. Like, you know, you're ended up, your partner becomes sort of like you're a business or working mate as well. Right. You know, yeah. uh, where, because again, like, I mean the nine to five oh, rules. The background. Oh, nine to five happened? rules. Can you just tap the mouse? Tap the mouse behind you. There's a little computer. Oh. Tap the mouse. There we go. Girl, your girlfriend's amazing, by the way. My girlfriend? Yeah. Oh, she, you were just talking about how amazing she was. She's hysterical. She, my girlfriend's absolutely hysterical, and she's just you know she's amazing in in, in so many aspects. Um, I, I like I said, I don't know what I would do. Right. I would go nuts if I didn't have her or if I was dating someone right. else during right. this time. Uh, a couple of people come to mind, actually. Past uh, exes. <laughs> um, but I, I just, I, you know, you, I think everyone's having this. You're going to see a higher divorce rate because everyone's having this, uh, this interesting work from home business scenario right. and, you know, being domesticated yeah, with your partner that you, you're with. That's one huge thing. Like, I haven't minded that she's been living with me. Or vice versa. Vice versa. Like, you know what I mean? Like, she hasn't been minding that she's been living with yeah. me. And I think you guys have been enjoying that, each other's company. Yeah. And yeah. and just, and, and also, just in general, we're not pissed to see each other every day. You know what I mean? Or like, yeah. fuck, another day in quarantine. Fuck. Yeah. You know, like, yeah. or, sorry. But, uh, uh, it's all right. You can it's curse. It's your show. It's oh, all right. You can curse. I can cuss. This, on I'm the... sure, I'm sure YouTube will age gate this. <laughs> and, but there's going to be a couple of F bombs. There's going to be things, like I said, there's going to be things that we say that it's are. Zach Dressler show. It's Zach Dressler show. Yeah. Anything oh. can happen. Yeah, anything can happen. <laughs> <laughs> but um, I know you did want to um, bring in a little bit of a uh, uh, rigidity, uh, just a little bit of rigidity into this into the show format. In that, did you want to break it up into segments at all? Because I know that we have one here called Stupid News. Uh, I do. I mean, I wanted to get. Uh, you know, we'll get to that. We'll get to okay, that. Okay. Okay. I'm enjoying our conversation. Basically, Me too. you know, uh, to continue about what this show is. I mean, it's going to be a hodgepodge of different things every week. But I want to try to, ke- you know, keep it somewhat regimented, uh, as we were just discussing. But you know, we'll go over our current event topics of the week: news, sports, pop culture. Um, you know, right. and like I said, make. I'm going to make other content to go on this YouTube channel. Um, you know, many people know me from BuzzFeed for different things, but specifically uh, this um, uh, 
uh, fitness journey that I've been on. Hell you know, yeah. people only know it maybe for, as you know know me from Busby. They only know it. I've been doing it for the past three, four years, uh, where I've been doing it my entire life. <laughs> you know, I played soccer in college. You know, I was an athlete growing up, but I always struggled with my weight, no matter what age I was. In certain ages, you know, metabolism picks up, and you know, I'm in the best shape of my life. And then there's also other times like my mid twenties where I just didn't give a shit about my health and I just gained tons of weight from currently smoking. going through that. Phase. And, and listen, right. I've gained from, you know, I've done it too. I think everyone has, right. I don't know. There's very few people I know. Um, and then again, it's, I haven't talked to a lot of people cause it's quarantine, but there's very few people <laughs> I know that, uh, you know, haven't gained a little bit of weight or I know people for me, for example, right. I gained weight. I lost a lot of weight during the summer and then I've gained it back over the past. It's so month. weird. Like I haven't, yeah, like, uh, you know, uh, uh, shows that are on every day that they keep filming in quarantine. Like if I haven't watched, like you know, like the the you know George Stephanopoulos or oh, you know, yeah, whomever, yeah, you know, yeah, like yeah. you cut in month six into quarantine, and they everybody literally has a good like half inch around their chin. Yeah, yeah. You know? They got uh, they, <laughs> listen. The, the hair crazy. is out. It's, it's out. People yeah. got quaffed hair now. That like I mean that's gonna be a, you know yeah. the only thing I hope doesn't come back because everyone's getting this long hair or growing their hair long. I just hope. The, I mean it's always here to stay. But the man bun, I'm always against the man bun. Against. I'm not, I mean, maybe Against it's because, it. I, yeah, I, I just, I mean, I'm not for it. I'm not for it. <laughs> Listen, I, I just think that every year I make a, a New Year's post where I'm like, hopefully this is the year we get rid of the man bun, <laughs> you know? And I guess I'll give this year a pass because the only thing we need to get rid of is COVID. Yes. And then man bun second. Man bun second. Yeah. You know, and there's a couple things in between there, like a couple people in the government uh, areas, but. Uh, we're, you know, I don't want to talk too much. We'll probably talk politics, you know, every once in a while. I don't want to talk about it. It's been a heavy po political talk. I feel like you can get that anywhere else. Right. Well, it's the Zach Dressler show. That's what's great about the Zach Dressler show. It's because it's Zach Dressler's show. Exactly. What you love about Zach, it's a show about that. Yeah. You know, yeah, so yeah, so there's gonna be some politics. There's gonna be some sports. There's gonna be some. There's McRibs. gonna be a lot. There's gonna be some McRibs. McDonald's. Well, that's and that's a great segue and a great way. Of course, into our our, our first segment. What which would a producer be good for exactly. if he didn't get, keep get me on time? keep me on target? Yeah, there we go on point. <laughs> so we're gonna t do this first segment, and we're gonna just call it. I mean, it could change, but we're gonna call it stupid news. Stupid news. Stupid news. And it's just like a look of the week's news. Articles that have been written by, you know, all these publications or news that's out there uh, that just doesn't get a lot of attention because it's uh, either ridiculous, uh, it's stupid, it's dumbfounding, it confuses you, and it could be also hysterical. And, I think uh, I have a, uh, a theme song for this segment. Do you? Okay, let's hear it. It's stupid news. We got the stupid news, babe. Yeah, I like this. Stupid so in this week in stupid news, or today especially, I guess, yeah, this week, this week in stupid news, um, I saw an article online. Uh, it's uh, McDonald's is giving away 10,000 free sandwiches, McRibs to be precise, Ooh. for anyone who shaves their faces. And now, I see, I see a very clean shaven face. And yes, normally, <laughs> you know, to to for anybody that's joining this show or doesn't know me or anything, I'm normally a very bearded man. I have a bearded nice. Man. It's either nice and kempt or it's thick and bushy. You know, depending on the time of quarantine. Yes. Of uh, beginning of quarantine, I did a. I can show that sketch some time. I did a personality sketch where I did played about eight to nine different personalities that I shaved my natural beard to play these characters it was uh we'll play oh, it for you. yes i remember that yeah. it's on the screen right now actually is it yeah yeah oh it's oh no. okay okay to yeah, the yeah, viewers yeah yeah yes, yeah, yes, yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. I see it right oh, wow there. it was it's been there the whole time <laughs> <laughs> we're new to this it's been to me we forget that we're going to do this in post so if you look right here or right, right here whoever wants to edit this together they'll, we'll That'll show the video but let's just yeah. play the video real i'll quick. put it up we'll it's just play the video there. yeah yeah You're, we're already it's already been it's already done okay no, well i hope you enjoyed that video but uh, McDonald's, because last month was No Shave November, and you know people like to call it No Shave November or Movember. You know everyone uh, who has facial hair can participate in this. Um, for people who even don't, the ladies, even the ladies, uh, for people that can't grow facial hair, like I know my one of my good friends from back home. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna shame him, uh, but he was always jealous of me growing up. You know that he really and and and, and he now can grow. I want to say really defined peach fuzz. Uh, and so we make a joke about it. But anyway, uh, what they're doing is uh, with the fast food chain is partnering with No Shave November to give out 10,000 McRib sandwiches to customers in an effort to bring awareness to the nonprofit, which raises money for cancer research. And so basically they want people 
who didn't know Shave November or Movember to show themselves shaving or a before and after shaving, but it has to be posted on either Twitter or Instagram, but it can't be your stories. It has to be on your grid. It has to be Ooh. an actual post. You have to commit to it. You have to commit, yeah. and you do it with uh, the hashtag shave for McRibs sweepstakes, <laughs> which, I mean, that's a mouthful of a fucking no, I hashtag. I think that's smart on their part, though. Because say, hey, you didn't get the hashtag right. Sorry. Sure. Hey, sure. we can't get out the... It's a... It's, 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 uh, but here's the other thing. The profit. Here's the, but here's the other thing. It's like if you're able to a film yourself shaving, be posted on Instagram or whatever social media, then I'm sure you can afford a 395 or whatever the <laughs> fucking much a big rib is. Right. You're already like 40 bucks deep just with the shaver. Yeah. Exactly. Like just with the exactly. manscaped. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> right. So uh, I, I thought this was ridiculous, but then I, <laughs> me and my girlfriend thought it'd be fun to make a silly video out of it uh, using. Um, the music and scene uh, audio yes. from uh, Home Alone with Kevin McAllister when he's shaving. To uh, Yes, that is up on the screen, but we unfortunately can't play the music to it. But people are watching it right now. It's, it's okay. awesome. It's beautiful. So as you can see here, Instagram. Instagram. you know, the whole... Do, 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 yeah. but I can say yeah. it, right? Uh, very, that's it. That's it? Yeah. Okay, so that's it. Uh, I don't know if Indy's silencing me because I have no, I think YouTube, voice. YouTube will end up doing that. Uh, like even if you hum oh. it, like I thought there were some rules that we can stupid. play like six seconds of it. I mean, just, nobody's watching anyway. I know, so but this but won't fine. matter. At least you for can see it. At least you can see it. Yeah, it's, it's on there. the screen. Yeah, you know, enjoy it. Uh, if you want, go to my Instagram. It's there. You can go to my Facebook. It's there. You can go to my Twitter at Z Dressler. They're all the same handle. Um, but I just, <laughs> it's to me, it's. I, I mean, it's 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 interesting. Um, it's an interesting concept. You know, I think McDonald's. Sometimes the, really does a great, you know, social marketing campaign. And other right. times it's like, you know, it falls fat, flat on your face. Right. <laughs> right. Have you ever had a McRib, by the I've, way? I've had a McRib. Um, it was, I mean, it's got to be a couple of years ago, probably college. I'm not going to lie. Yeah. When I got them today, uh, it was my first time. Them. Sorry. When I got them today. Them. Multiple McRibs. Oh, yeah. So. Oh, you would, you used two in your video. Yes. I, well, so. When we, when Carrie and I were like <laughs> planning this out, Carrie was like, "Oh, you know, it'd be really funny if you just if you were like shaving and then like we did slow mo of like McRib slapping you in the face and then this <laughs> I think she just wanted to slap me with meat, uh, yeah, processed meat. But who doesn't want to do that? I mean, not just you, <laughs> but anybody, right? I think any woman wants to do it to their man uh, or partner. Yeah. Um. So I what. <laughs> I, 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 I will play this clip next. Uh, I have a yeah. clip. I recorded myself in the drive through. Here's the clip. And basically, the, the you'll, you'll hear in the clip, uh, I start off. I'm like, hey, man, uh, let me get him, five man. McRibs. Um, can I get five <laughs> And like, he's like, ribs? OK, is that it? Is that it? And like, normally, that's a good question because like or it's a bad question because like who else is going to eat after? But I continued right. ordering meals for me and Carrie, which was I got a quarter pounder with cheese meal <laughs> uh, and a Big Mac meal. And then we split uh, 10 nuggets. A Big Mac meal. And, so, and then five. And then five McRibs. <laughs> and I said four originally. And Kara's like, no, get one extra so I can have one. And I was like, we may have two extra, which now we do. Because we, I was so good at slapping my face with McRibs <laughs> that we only had to do one take. And uh, I brought this all home. But what, the guy missed up the order. I think, again, I th you'll hear. I think he was just... Um, flabbergasted, bef yeah. befuddled that I ordered five McRibs because anything after that, he just messed up. I was like, let me get a number two, you know, a large <laughs> with a Coke and number one. And for some reason, he heard quarter pounder of cheese with an extra Big Mac on the side. <laughs> and I was He's like, never heard such an order. Before. And I was like, no, I, I, I want both meals. I must have said meals at least three or four times. And in the end, he ended up giving me five McRibs, which was fine. Two large fries, a Sprite, which I only ordered for the Big Mac. <laughs> and then individual sandwich, the individual meal for the uh, individual sandwich for a quarter pounder, individual for 10 nuggets <laughs> and individual for Big Mac. Man, so I don't know if I was overcharged, undercharged, um, but I spent way too much money today at McDonald's. That's true. That's that's what. Oh, God. But you can hear it here in this clip. Yeah, it's wow. <laughs> <laughs> so you had such an escapade today. It was. It was. And you know what? Uh, the McRib. I don't get it. I, I it's it's pork obviously it's right. you know ground pork molded into this. I mean it's shape. pork, you know. Sure. And well, I'll put it in finger, finger quotes. quotes. Yeah. Um, 
uh, and just this tangy barbecue sauce, which, uh, by the way, when you freshly sa- shave your face and then slap Ooh. tangy barbecue sauce on your <laughs> face, it stinks. It stinks. It yeah, stinks. It stinks. Um, I'm probably going to break out into zits later because of all the sugar that's in the, uh, the barbecue right. sauce. <laughs> but, uh, you know, uh, McRib, not for me. McRib. In other... But uh, it but it is the holiday season, so you know, it, it, McRib really isn't. Is that a holiday thing? McRib is it? I wouldn't think it is. I know that when I was when I was going around the drive through, they had these new holiday pies, these like custard Ooh. pies. Uh, I did not splurge on that because I was like, I'm already spending over forty dollars on all this food. <laughs> I don't really want to add extra money. To I know this. my my previous theory of 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 uh, the hashtag. For, for business reasons, doesn't rain true because one person bought $40 worth when they just went to go get a McRib. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> McDonald's straight smart marketing campaign. Yeah. 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 And this is the thing. When you go to McDonald's, you don't get one thing. Like, oh, you can't. You get, can't. I, I mean, uh, at least I know I don't. I did the last week. You got one thing? Yeah. What Can did you, you guess? Uh, what did I buy? I'm going to go either a McFlurry, a chocolate shake, or hot apple pies because I feel like those are the only things you go for individually. Am I wrong? I went okay for a sausage McMuffin. Oh, was five minutes late. Five minutes late, and had to get a McDouble. Wow, that was my next go to. Was a but McDouble. It, but don't they? I thought they had breakfast all day. Not in pandemic. They've stopped, really they stopped doing that in quarantine. Yeah. I think it, it's Come either on, McDonald's. It's either you know, uh, it's probably either uh, you know, a supply chain or some sort of like safety thing or where they like. Yeah, they don't it's, want it's probably a combination of both. Yeah. Interesting, know. interesting. I mean, yeah. I, so get there on time, y'all. If it's a pandemic, yeah, for real. The, they're they're <laughs> serious about that. Ten is it ten thirty? I think ten, so. Yeah, yeah, it used I to be eleven, so. and now it's ten thirty. Yep, yep. You uh, gotta earn. You gotta earn that breakfast now. You do yeah. gotta earn your yeah. breakfast. <laughs> you really gotta earn that <laughs> breakfast. But even breakfast, you only got one thing for breakfast. I was, yeah, I was just going for okay. the sauce. I just needed something Not quick. even a hash brown? No. No, I mean, All right. I'm a big guy, but I'm not trying to be that big. All right. You know what I mean? I like, I'm right. not trying to be $40 McDonald. <laughs> <laughs> Man, now I feel real uh, bad about myself. <laughs> no, you're the, you're the fitness challenge uh, guy. Yeah, what are you talking that's, about? That's still too much. <laughs> Listen, if I told you how much McDonald's and fast food I probably had over the past month that my girlfriend doesn't know about, and then she's going to find out now that I talk about it. <laughs> Man, she's gonna be so exactly pissed. my girlfriend right now too. She yeah. just walked in. Victoria, welcome Victoria, to the Zach Dressler show. Thank you for this lovely art. Here's the mic. You're welcome. Thank you very much. I have a little mask on, so I don't know if you can hear. Me. I can hear you perfectly. Hi. This is g- hi. <laughs> Good to see you. Good to see you. Thank you for having yes. me over. Welcome, this welcome. A, this is a great. This is uh, very DC logo-ish, which I was what I was hoping for, Yay. and I really like it. That's great. I love it. It's awesome. Um. Great inspiration, great artistry. Exactly. When they merge, so magic happens. Oh man, yeah, McDonald's. But let's let's move on to our next, uh, our next, next stupid news. Stupid news. Stupid news. <laughs> the worst. So I woke up this morning, and uh, Carrie shared this article with me, and it's uh, basically Hershey Kisses. You remember that commercial? You've, you've seen that commercial? The uh, I don't know if you can play it right now, but it's usually the um, the the Hershey Kisses that are acting as the the bells for "We wish you a Merry Christmas." That whole thing, mm-hmm. and yeah, this is here it is. Oh, okay. So can I play it? Oh no. Is well, this, this is this is this is this is what they're talking about. So Hershey Kisses, their classic Christmas bells commercial. They they changed it. They kept this part as you can see here, and then it's a family making like the hats, the chocolate hats. Yes, with the Hershey yes kisses. of course. All right. And people apparently are outraged by this. Outraged? They are they are outraged because apparently this is this is something that's like, you know, a classic to some people. I mean, right. here's some quotes. It, it's uh let me see if I can find uh What are they outraged Someone over? wrote someone wrote the perfect representation of twenty twenty completely ruined. How is that ruined? How with, is that with ruined? The chocolate hat cookies? Yeah. Is it like okay? So is it like white on black thing, black on white thing? I think like, it's I think it's a racist thing. If you want to be me, honest. no, 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 oh. no, 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 no. I mean, why people are outraged? I oh, mean, why people yes. are outraged? Oh, it's about, a race thing. I think it's a race thing. You know, because here's the thing: it's 2020. If you right. love that commercial so much, if it but like go to YouTube and Google the goddamn, or you know, look for the freaking commercial. Right. Like it shouldn't bother you. 
It should, but like right. read some other stupid comment comments. It, looking forward to the original every year. Why why change it? Don't ruin it. Just make a separate commercial. They did. I'm sure they're going to air this commercial now. I mean, especially now. Right. But like they did. They just literally. And this is the thing, people in our industry. Right. How many times do we take content and adapt it? You know, take a piece from something right. here and add it to something you know new or yeah. change it. You know, because it, it change is good, people. Yeah. It's ridiculous. And like, uh, you know, and on Twitter, well, people, I think people are just looking for something now to like to be mad at. You know, rather yeah. than oh, that's, like, and you that's, know, yeah, and that's the thing. It's it's getting, sucks. It's getting back to like. Where do we where do we draw the line of ridiculousness? Getting mad, getting mad at something so that's just so not right. Needing to get there's so many right. other issues in this world. Right. There's so like many other I have an example. Me and Tori like had a long discussion about this because it was a Red Bull commercial, recent Red Bull commercial for Thanksgiving. Yeah. And it had the you know the stereotypical, um, you know the Red Bull cartoon and okay. the stereotypical um, Thanksgiving with the. The pilgrim and the and the Native American. Oh, I know exactly right. what you're talking about. Which commercial? The the thing of the commercial wasn't that. It was that we ate. It was why we ate turkey. That was the commercial, but it was shown through Thanksgiving, and and my girlfriend's native, so she like she had a little bit of a different perspective on that commercial, which she sh- should naturally have. Mm-hmm. I'm not native. I'm a white guy. Right. Um. And she, you know, thought it was a little bit problematic. And I was like, okay, my perspective, I see that as, oh, that's why we eat turkey. How fun. Cool. Right, right. But she saw it as it's perpetuating a wrong stereotype. Correct. But I think we're both right. You know, you know what I mean? Where it's like, we shouldn't hinge our lives on these things. Right. It's a Red Bull commercial. Right, right, right. right. I, <laughs> you know I, what I mean? But I, like, I, I totally, totally hear her, her side of it. I, to, I totally, yeah. Yeah, exactly. And that's important to understand. Everyone wants right, wants y'all. right, exactly. But like, we're talking about chocolate here. Like, someone says Hershey redoing their Christmas commercial is personally the last straw of for me of me <laughs> of twenty twenty for me. Excuse me, of twenty twenty for me. I simply cannot go without hearing the little Hershey kiss sigh after the performance of his lifetime. Like, on, it's it's a you yeah. know like. Okay, I'm sure her. She's gonna do plenty fine without your business. How, like, how many people were up in arms with the new State Farm rap? You hear the State Farm? It's it's like hip hop now. Where they? Where, I haven't heard it. I have. It's like it's a uh, uh uh like a good name. State Farm is. It's literally like a hip hop song now. Or like, and I go yes, fucking raise the roof with this <laughs> shit because I want like a good name. Huh. Da, 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 da. And it's, it's literally like mumble rap now and i'm like they're changing with the times and i love it you know yeah i mean listen come on hershey's let's gotta, do it listen you gotta you got to change with with times with with culture what people are into you know uh, it's there's a lot of things that go into making these commercials uh you know and i don't think look at that i'm getting a pro like this now right i'm turning around i'm not even God, you're, you're gonna shut the laptop. i'm touching the top of the computer there, there we, we go. go there we go uh you know, I, 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 I got to fix this. It really, it really sh- shuts the conversation down. This no, bad drop. <laughs> fine, whatever. We like, we'll just, yeah, figure it out. We'll figure it out next show. Um, I, I just, I think people, uh, you know, there's a, there's a time and a place to get upset about everything. Yeah. And this ain't it. Uh, this yeah. ain't it. Like p- pick and choose. You know, like just, just, and 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 this is the, you know, I'll end with this. You know, in terms of the news, you know. The, the love and hate about social media is that it gives everyone a voice, but it also gives everyone a voice. Right. If you know what I mean? Right. Uh, yeah. There's a great voices out there that need to be heard, and then there's voices out there that think they need to be heard, and it's like, shut up. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. I don't know. There's, uh, there's good and evil in this world, you know, and uh, we're on team good. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and that was... Uh, that was well, um, stupid news. Stupid news. Coming to you weekly. Do I have another one here? I like this. I mean, we could, listen, we'll play around with it. Stupid news coming for you. The next segment? The next segment is just sports. <laughs> yes, it's terrifying. <laughs> I don't think... So, I, I, Andy just got this new uh, this, the auxiliary board. Yes. And it, it came pre-programmed with some sound effects. I told him to drop it, and he didn't check it, which is fine. And this is uh, <laughs> this is what we're getting right now. It's like mystery. Mysterious murder. Who is going to die this week in the NFL? 
<laughs> that's freaking creepy. Terrible. That is really cre- creepy. Yeah, I love the the uh, the roadcaster uh, drops on here. But anyway, they, oh, I love it. I mean, the drops make drops make everything better. Oh, for sure. So, anyway, we're do a couple of things. We'll talk some sports. I love sports. Some people don't. That's why there's crickets. <laughs> Just but I love sports. Um, you know, sports. I played I played college soccer. Uh, I'm a big soccer guy. You know, um, uh, I worked in the NFL for many years. Uh, you know, on radio, on, on on the digital side of things, and uh, I've done generic sports shows. NBA, I love NBA. But uh, this week, we'll talk about what's going on in terms of. I mean, we don't want to talk about it. This is the thing: is like, I don't want to talk too much about sports. Yeah, I think and I'm we'll not a sports guy. So, but I think if you can engage me in conversation about sure. it. Sure. It'll be worthwhile. And we can do yeah. that. But here's the thing is that you can go for like picks and bets and all that stuff. There's right. literally a bajillion. It's saturated. So, right. you know, uh, and my team, I'm the I'm a New York Giants guy. Uh, our team uh, is first in the division in the NFC East. First. But here's the thing, Indy. It, 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 they're first. They're in the, the Dodgers of the East. Uh, no, because the Dodgers <laughs> are great. Just, they're more. Um, oh, God. So here's the thing with the Giants. Yeah. And I'll explain this to you. Yeah. Is that so in, in the NFL. There's eight divisions. There's the NFC, right? Right. Yep. There's the conference and the AFC, which is the conference. And within those conferences, there's four divisions: the north, right. the south, the east, the west. The Giants and the NFC East. Yep. Their team. They play the, the Cowboys, the Redskins, and the Eagles twice because that's another division. The Giants currently are in first place in that division with a four and seven record. That's not good, right? No, <laughs> they're that's in not, first with fourth and seven. They're in first seven? of that division of that division with ah, a four and okay, seven. Okay. Not in the whole conference, the whole not, spiel, the NFC, yeah. not in the whole NFC East. But because of that, they potentially—I mean, now you know there's a whole bunch of issues. But potentially, they could hold a playoff spot with a losing record because the sixteen regular games, the sixteen regular seasons, they're at four and wow. seven right now. They're going to lose at least two or three more games. They could potentially make the playoffs, win the division with a five and eleven record. Really, I think it's what I, the math is right. Yeah, five and eleven because it's sixteen games. Yeah, so five and eleven record. All right, they could pinch and they'll play a team that could be either the Seahawks or the Rams. Do you understand? Right. Yeah. 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 That are like Did I get seven it right? And three, eight and three. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah sure. Right, yeah, right, right, right. Baby birds. So. <laughs> So, yes, you know, and get rocked in the first round and have home field advantage for it. It's it's crazy. Um, but this week we got uh, a whole new slate of games, uh, which we're still yet to see if all of them will be played at the same time. I don't know if you knew the uh, the trauma or not the trauma, the drama, I should say, Ooh. that happened last week. Um, so the Ravens, the Baltimore Ravens and the Pittsburgh Steelers supposed to play the uh, Thursday night Thanksgiving game. It got postponed because a couple of players tested positive for COVID. Oh. And then more players tested positive for COVID. So they pushed it back to Sunday. The day after Thanksgiving, or even on Thanksgiving, maybe the day before, they pushed Sunday back to Monday. So we're going to do two. <laughs> and then they pushed Monday back to Tuesday. And then uh, over the weekend, they pushed Tuesday to Wednesday. They finally played the game, that game, right. Raven Steelers, today. At 12.30 in the afternoon on a Wednesday, <laughs> which was 3.30 East Coast. And the reason why they played it that late is because uh, tonight was the Rockefeller Christmas tree lighting, and they can't oh, move that. Oh, yeah, of so, course. Which is totally fun. Right. So this, so finally the week week 12 has been ended, and now we go to week 13. And I'm just going to give you my picks for no reason. Give me the picks. Okay. New Orleans at Atlanta. We're going New Orleans. All right. Even though Drew Brees is probably not playing, uh, and it's at Atlanta, I just don't see... I mean, Atlanta had a big win last week. It's not going to happen. Uh, Detroit at Chicago. This is a toss-up. Uh, since it's at Chicago, I'm going to go Chicago. Cleveland at Tennessee. Tennessee, even though Cleveland's been playing real well. Miami at Cincinnati. I mean, Cincinnati at Miami. No joke. And Miami's going to win. Uh, Cincinnati's uh, QB is out. Min- uh, Jacksonville at Minnesota. I'd want to say Minnesota. We'll see. Las Vegas at New York. I'm going to take Vegas, even though they... Shit the bed last weekend. That's the Raiders, right? Yeah. Oh, Las Vegas Raiders, I drove, baby. By, I drove by that new stadium yeah. last What'd you month. think? What'd you think? Dude, it is awesome. It looks cool, it's right? It's cool, it but cool. nobody can go there. Nobody go, same thing with the new stadium here in LA. Yeah. So, uh, by the way, we're based in LA. Yeah. Uh, with the new SoCal Stadium, where the Chargers and the Rams play. That thing is... I had season tickets with a friend, and we couldn't... We, we had to give them back. But it was... It's a beautiful stadium. Yeah. Like, we've yeah. seen the... It's incredible. Um... 
Let's see. What else? Indy at Indy at Houston. I'm gonna go. This is a tough one, but I, I'm gonna go Indy. Uh, Got to Los Angeles at Houston. Oh, excuse me, Los Angeles at Arizona. I'm gonna go probably Arizona here. I think I'm gonna go Arizona, and then Los Angeles coming up. I'm not gonna give. A, I'm not gonna give the reasons. This is picks without a call. Picks without a reason. Picks without a reason. New York at Seattle. Seattle. Philadelphia at Green Bay. Green Bay. New England at Los Angeles Chargers. I'm gonna go Los Angeles, uh, and Denver at Kansas City. Kansas City. And then we have. Here's what's crazy. So because there were so many COVID inc- incidences back early in the year, these games have now been postponed and pushed to this point. So now we have two Monday night games, which you usually get one. It's Washington at Pittsburgh, which will be at 2 p.m. our time <laughs> in the afternoon. That's a makeup game. Yeah. Uh, and I'm going to win Pittsburgh with that one, um, and which will be Pittsburgh, the only undefeated team in the uh, NFL still. Uh, Buffalo at San Francisco. I'm gonna go. See, this is this is gonna be a good game. I'm gonna go Buffalo, even though it's on the road at San Fran. Mm-hmm. And now we have <laughs> two uh, a Tuesday game, which again never happens at five o'clock our time. Uh, Dallas at Baltimore because again Baltimore had to be pushed back and pushed back right. and everything. So, and I'm gonna go Baltimore with this one. Uh, their quarterbacks back, and that's all you need to know. And so that's Damn. picks without a reason. So, so uh, your uh, NFL Red Zone subscription is really uh, uh, doing you well out there. I, whoever, I mean, whoever, the, whoever has them. The Red Zone subscription is always great. Um, yeah, but that's usually only for Sundays. Like the 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 Sunday ticket you're talking about. Uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, if you have the Sunday ticket, I I canceled mine because again, I was like, it's. I think the season. Right. I thought the season could be canceled. I'm impressed they've made it this far. Yeah. We'll see what happens as the as the. Yeah. remaining two months go but that's pretty much picks without a reason see it as paying for somebody to change the channel for you oh i love that that's <laughs> a great that's a great analogy yeah it's a great thing Could you yeah. just put it to whatever i i only i only exciting. watch i only watch the red zone on the, on sunday because it just gives me all those games yeah you know um yeah. rather than paying 80 bucks i only pay 10 bucks a month for the red zone right and you know it gives me all the things i want yeah um a couple other things we can just talk about let's see here oh NBA, uh, big trade today, uh, this week. So, you know, who knows when you watch this, but this week, uh, December 2nd, Houston yep. traded Russell Westbrook to the Washington Wizards for uh, John Wall and a first round pick. I believe that's what it was, which um, is interesting. This is uh, Westbrook's third team in four years, I want to say, or three years, because he, really? he was on Oklahoma City. And then they moved him last year. I think it was yeah, I think it was last year to Houston for Chris Paul. They traded for that. Uh, I think that was the trade deal. And now he was just there for one year with James Harden. I mean, that was a dynamic uh, backcourt. And now he's moving to uh, which he'll be with Beal, which is a. I mean, you don't know who that is, but he, you know he, he. That's a great backcourt as well. And so right. I mean, Russell Russell Westbrook is a is a dynamic player. I mean, he's an incredible player. And so this is just going to make the East more tough uh, rather than the West. I mean, Houston, you know, now – because now we're going to see what – I think Houston's just having a fire sale. They're getting rid of all their players. The only person that's left there is James Harden. And there's been rumors talking that he wants to go join the Brooklyn Nets, which would just be insane because that's Kevin Durant, Kyrie Irving, and now James Harden. I don't know how – there's one ball. I don't know how you're going to give that distribute that enough. I think that's a terrible move, and I'm a Brooklyn Nets fan. I think it's a terrible move for the Nets <laughs> if they do that, but it's the Nets, so they'll probably do it. So you would say um, <laughs> the Lakers are probably going to win it again. So would uh, just as a because I'm kind of a I, I don't even really follow sports that much. What you would say if if a player changes teams often, they're great or they're not great. Uh, I, I don't, does that have a have no, a factor in them and why they why they would uh, no that doesn't have change a f- teams so uh, frequently. It, it, there's a lot. It's it's a different league than what it was in the 80s and 90s. You know, it, it really is. Um, you know, uh, people talk about this all the time in terms of you know when you get drafted as a, you know on a team like Jordan, like any of a lot of these yeah. guys, you rarely get moved. Maybe once in your career. It's different now because of the, you know, the CBA rules in terms of how much cap space a team can have and their max signing player bonuses and deals and everything that they, you know, that that the NBA has adapted since, you know, the uh, the 90s. But um, no, I think I think people just, you know, it's 
it's kind of like dating, uh, you know, dating these days, you know, there's Tinder right. and there's all these apps. So there's like, there's so many options and so many, there's so many great players in the league that you want to play with. So you would either swap out a great player for an even better one. Some people do that. So like if Westbrook, whatever Westbrook went from, they traded for somebody better. Not necessarily. Uh, okay. Russell Russell Westbrook is a phenomenal point guard. Right. Uh, John Wall is a phenomenal point guard. I would say Westbrook is way better than John Wall, right. but that's why Houston's getting. Well, him. I don't think John Wall got his uh, his uh, car dealerships down Van Nuys Boulevard. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Westbrook does, <laughs> my dude. Exactly. 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 <laughs> I mean, yeah, Westbrook's a Cali guy, but right. uh, I'm just, I'm just, I, I just, I it, with Westbrook, I you know, and again, I don't know anything about the guy personally. You just hear things that like, you know, you know, he's a passionate player, but he's also difficult to deal with when they're losing or they're not, you know, he's not getting the right. ball enough. And so that might be the case. That's why some people think or that's why Kevin Durant, you know, had beef with him when he left Oklahoma City to go to the Warriors. You know, yeah. it's you don't know. You don't know with these guys. I mean, all everyone has an ego, rightfully so. Some of you guys are the best players at best athletes in the world. Right. Um, yeah, you don't become that kind of level of an athlete without a little bit of ego. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah, of course. Or a lot of bit of ego. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, you know, it's an interesting move. Uh, we yeah. don't, I don't really want to talk about it because, again, it's, you know, well. No, it's uh, interesting. I learned a little bit because, I you know, I like asking you, you know, kind of dumb sports questions because and I you'll try go to answer off them as best it. I can. Yeah. Best I can. You know, because I'm, I'm excited for I'm excited for this NBA season. I loved the, you know, this abbreviated or whatever they the bubble season that they did because it really was like uh, kind of like March Madness almost every day. They had a bunch of games going on, you know, leading yeah. into their playoffs and it, they really did it well. Um, it's like it's already a pretty energetic game. So yep. like having all those games going on. Is but I'm excited just as a Nets fan to see like KD and Kyrie on the floor. For the, I mean, hopefully they stay healthy. I mean, they they signed four year deals. This was the this the, the, their first year just ended and Kyrie only played maybe a quarter of the season and KD didn't play any because he tore his Achilles last year on the Warriors. Right. So that takes like a year to repair. So hopefully these guys come back what they were two years ago yeah and do some type of damage again i think the lakers are going to win lakers have you know ad and as long as you have lebron you know lebron at 37 38 years old still looks like 27 28 you got ad and you got ad hell yeah dog. so uh now we'll just go on to the next pop culture we're going to talk about tv uh was, shows. was this uh that Let's was see, what sports got? that was that was I like that that uh, little fairy. It was better than this, the the ominous tone. Yeah, yeah the ominous the tone. ominous tone you had there. Sports, sports. It's just like it, it just it <laughs> makes you so much calmer. It's great. Yeah, and now it's TV. <laughs> Did it not work? Is it not programmed? Whoa! It's TV. That's like a Matrix sound effect. It's TV. TV. What you're watching Wednesday. So I, I don't know what you're watching, or are, are you into the Mandalorian? Um, I've seen a, a few episodes. Are you a Star Wars guy? I like Star Wars, but are you like a, are you? I feel like I like Star Wars too, but I, I've I've realized my fandom how big of a fan I am. I mean, I'm not a diehard. We, I know people, you know people, uh, we right. both know people that have gotten tattoos yes. that literally dedicate their whole life to Star Wars, conventions, oh, yes. uh, cosplay, whatever it may be. And I don't hate, I don't hate that because I, I respect that. I love that. Yeah. I don't have the, uh, the passion for it the way you do, but I still am passionate about, you know, right. I'm, not, I'm not one of these guys that goes on crushing the series when it doesn't, turn the story the way it wants to, like The Last Jedi or The, the, Last, Rise, Jedi, of, or the yeah. Last Rise of Skywalker. Do I think they were great movies? No. Do, I mean, nothing compares to 4, 5, and 6, the original. Well, you know, do I think they're one, two, better than 1, 2, and 3? Maybe. People argue, but you again. You know, it's, it's interesting. It, I think it's kind of like the, uh, the, the James Bond dilemma, where you ask anybody who's the best James Bond, and it's whoever it was when they were a kid. For me, it's Pierce Brosnan. I love Pierce. Love Pierce. Pierce not your favorite. Not your favorite Bond. Uh, it's, so for me, like again, because my favorite Star Wars, one, two, and three. Really? Yeah. Well, I was like, interesting. Eight. I was like eight when that came out. So like, that makes sense. My makes first sense. entry into that was like, holy crap, Jar Jar. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah. And then I didn't have that. Like, oh, who the hell is this? Ugh. I think you know, I like think I didn't when I was like, or not pretentious, no, I get but that. snooty, like Star Wars snooty about it. You no, know, I get that. Yeah, and and it's you know, I I will say that like 
three three does a decent job in terms of like bringing the whole Vader, the beginning of Vader into it. I really yeah. did enjoy that. Two was just, uh, you know, I, I just, I think it was like, you know, it's one of those things where, um, I don't know if you've seen Avengers or, or you've seen uh, Iron Man, but like yeah. Tony's father talks about how he is limited to the, the technology of his right. time. Yeah. I feel like that's George Lucas, you know, right. like Star Wars was so, you know, it wasn't supposed to be what it was, right. you know, and I think like people were just in awe of it, you know, and like how it was. And now, you know, in the 90s and 2000s, that we have all these incredible advances in, in animation technology and CGI yeah. and green screening that I think George was just like, oh, I got to do everything, right. you know, without sticking to what made Star Wars so good. Right. Um, again, I, I, you know, and, it's, and that's a great point in terms of Bond. Uh, but right. To quickly answer that, uh, I, I guess Pierce is my favorite. I mean, I do like uh, what's Maybe his name? Maybe he transcended both our childhoods. What's, what's his name was? Who's... Um, I'll I'll look it up here. I forget. The, I'm drawing a blank. I'm having a brain fart. I think Roger Moore was the, right before Pierce Brosnan, which was like the '80s, which is like when I grew up. But what, what I remember, I remember Goldeneye. I mean, for, I remember Goldeneye because of the video game, the Nintendo 64 video game. So Sean Connery. I mean, and that's and that's the thing. To me, Connery is the best. Is the best Bond because right. he I was the original. Objectively, right, 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 objectively, right, right. But like when I watch a Bond film and I see him, I'm like, this isn't Bond. <laughs> <laughs> right, right, right. Um, uh, David Niven. That's one movie, 1967. Who uh, was the Bond in the 80s? Okay, let's see. 72 to 85 was Roger Moore. Roger Moore. That was early. And right. Timothy Dalton was 86 to 94. Yeah, and that was and, – and Timothy Dalton, I think, had a good – uh, he was an all right Bond, but I think, I think you know the franchise with Roger Moore and Timothy Dalton. I could be wrong. Uh, it, it it like took a dip, and I think Pierce shot it back up. Oh, definitely. Well, Pierce got that. He he had that perfect blend of machismo, but not being a dick. He was smooth. He was smooth. He was smooth. But he was a firm guy. Who, and I think you know, like I think he I, checked all the boxes. Yeah, and I think yeah. you know, seeing again, it's like this technology and seeing like. You know what the Bond car was, which was uh, the Austin Martin, Aston Martin. You know, like just seeing all the technology throughout the years. Yeah. I think you know when you get to that age, you know, it's, it was just like, wow, this is so cool. Interesting trivia here: his salary from Goldeneye to Die Another Day quadrupled. Oh, I see that Went four million, four million yeah, yeah, yeah. to sixteen, more than quadruple, four, four million to sixteen point five. I mean, million. as it should have. Woo. I mean, Goldeneye was Tomorrow Never Dies was great. The world is not enough. I mean, they were, these were all. I mean, he was. Classic. Yeah, he was. Yeah. And and the and the Bond women were great. Yep. I like Daniel Craig. It's very it's very refined. Uh, yeah, I think he's to, perfect for this era. Yeah, yeah, yeah sure. absolutely. Yeah. And the way and the way they they really went dark. Like I can't see this Pierce was, Brosnan driving like a twenty twenty Audi. Well, uh, Pier, you know, Pier, right. you know Pierce, Brosnan, like, yeah. Pierce Brosnan in the nineties for or you know in early two thousands that was the, he was the perfect general. It was you know I mean these were the perfect nineties movies. Die Hard, big you know sensationalism, right. you know big big explosions, big yep. you know uh, battles, Day. Yeah, yeah, all that yeah. stuff. I feel like. You know Daniel Craig. The, you know they started that a little bit, but it, it's become it's become this dark. It's almost like uh, you know Batman with uh, yeah, it's like Dark Knighty. Yeah, yeah. It, it, it it really did this dark this dark and it, him struggling. You know, uh, just having inner struggles, which you didn't see a lot with uh, Pierce Brosnan. Right. I mean, yeah. I mean, just comparing the movies: Golden Eye, Tomorrow Never Dies, World Is Not Enough, Die Another Day, with Casino Royale, Quantum of Solace, Skyfall. Like it, they're hugely different uh yeah. thematic or i guess uh moods yeah, yeah right yeah. right yeah where pierce brosnan really doesn't have that kind of dark tone to him he's more of like i'm i'm the guy you love you know yeah, yeah no absolutely yeah. absolutely whereas daniel craig you don't know if you love him it's crazy we were just start we were, we were I, we were talking about mandalorian star wars and now we've gone on this whole 007 <laughs> james bond <laughs> Hey, uh, podcasting, man. You never yeah, know where to absolutely. go. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. But um, <laughs> getting back to Mandalorian. Yes. Uh, you said you've seen a couple episodes? I, I've i seen a couple um, that my girlfriend of was watching, so she okay. she's actually more adept in this. But I saw the Baby Yoda. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I am for the Baby Yoda. For so, sure. so before we get into this week's episode, uh, and if you haven't watched it yet, spoiler alert, okay, they're coming. And if you haven't watched it, what the fuck are you doing with your life, okay? Right. It's quarantine. You don't have anywhere to go. You should yeah, why, be watching Yeah, why this. haven't you watched it and you're watching this? I give you through the weekend and that's, <laughs> and that's the end of it. That's the end of it. Yeah, <laughs> you're watching this, but you're not watching Mandalorian. Right. I don't know if I, you know, I don't know. I don't know. If, you know, creatively, you don't want I agree you with as you. a listener. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> so, uh, I, I think the Mandalorian is some of the best Star Wars um, product they've put out there. Uh, you know what I mean? And I liked, I really liked Rogue One. And I, you know, people are going to crush me on this one. I liked uh, the Solo movie. I liked these, you know, these independent movies, the, the Solo, the Rise of Solo, whatever it was called. I liked it. I didn't hate it. I didn't think it was, you know. I, I think it, I think it was just the frequency of Star Wars in general. Sure. Right? It Absolutely. was like uh, episode seven, fucking, uh, uh, what was it? Episode seven, then then the next well, year. Well, they, they did The Force Awakens, then they did Rogue One, then they did The Last Jedi, then they did The uh, Solo right, It was movie. every other year. Yeah, 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 right, yeah. which yeah. makes sense. I just, we're like, jeez, can we, well, we what can I, take a break here? What I, what I think, what I think <laughs> screws everything up is that, you know, with these one-offs, like Rogue One, and Star Wars, and I and I know uh, not Star Wars, um, Solo, and I know Solo had a director change. It went from someone to Ron Howard, and they had to reshoot something like 70, 80 percent of the film. Um, but what I like about this is that it's there's no continuation. I think what what ruined uh, seven, eight, nine, you know, the yeah, the, yeah. the the latter part of it was that it went from uh, J J Abrams right to Rain Johnson, Ryan yep. Johnson, yep, to back to J J Abrams. And, you know, every director has their own storyline that they want to complete. And I think that when you build these, when you start off with characters, right. you know, uh, and, you know, you go to another movie and you just, uh, 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 like, it just seems to me they avoided their storyline. They put them, you know, like, to, from, it was from seven to eight. Yeah, yeah. And then yeah. go back to J.J. Abrams and he ignores those storylines, all these new characters that were brought in in seven, I mean, in eight to go to nine. It right. just ruins everything. And I think it's just, you... Uh, you make this a uh, Dewey Machina. Is that how you say it? <laughs> right? Is that? Am I saying it right? I what? What is it? Dewey Dewey Machina, which is just like you know, just to get to Dewey Machina. I've never heard. Maybe that. I'm I'm probably fucking. But you know what? Let's just let's just cut that out. Uh, <laughs> We're keeping that in. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I, I I get what you're saying. Though. I think yeah. When when you get to this point where there's so many storylines, you can't connect them all together. You just you know you complete. The sake of the story for completing the sake of the story. Right. I think, yeah, because th Abrams being on episode nine was a fix, fix what Ryan did. Please fix what sure, Ryan did. Sure. Because, but there uh, were holes I love in seven. There were holes in the th Force there Awakens. Are, there are, but like when Force Awakens, I saw the 5 a.m. Um, oh, screening no. of it at the arc light in a, uh, in 70 millimeter. Wow. You went all in. I went all in. 5 a.m. You know, it was. It was and you awesome. say you just like Star Wars, bro? I pretty much. You, I pretty like. Dude, Star, I, I, like I Star Wars. love Star Wars, and I did. I waited two weeks to get a ticket because I was like, "Ain't no way I'm gonna sit in the crowded <laughs> motherfucking theater at 5 a.m. or 7 a.m. Right. or midnight." I picked five because it wasn't it wasn't the most packed, but there was a fucking lot of yeah. people there. But what I loved about it is that it's just seven had a um, uh, like pretend that eight and nine don't exist, right? Because they don't at the time you're watching seven, right? Because right. like if so pretend like erase those from your mind and you're, you're just watching it. It's, it's 3d. It's what? 2018, right? Is it 27? No, it was 2016, 26. It's 2016. Uh, no, 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 no. I stand corrected. It was, was it 20? No, Episode it was 2015 going into 2016. Oh, yeah. It was the Christmas, the Christmas. Yeah, yeah. Cause, um, Quentin Tarantino's movie was coming out. Yeah. Um, hey, yeah. late, hey, yeah, late. Yeah. 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 Um, uh, what I what I noticed it was just it was just fun and um, <sighs> sitting in the theater like you know you can you can always rewatch Star Wars but like sitting in the theater and actually getting that yeah bah! like yeah, and it's yeah. and it's like for when the you first haven't seen time something like that in a long time in a long long time Absolutely. and and um, also I I I really loved JJ's mixing of practical and CGI. Sure. Um, effects. It like, wasn't overkill. He wasn't like just fix it in post. He's like, no, we have to have an explosion. They need to actually react to something real. Yeah, you know, because it's just it, there. There's an innate uh, chemistry there. Of course, that really works. Of course, yeah, yeah. When you feel when you feel heat, when you feel the explosion, like you're gonna you're gonna get a natural reaction. Yeah, and and just those like micro reactions out of the uh, out of. What wouldn't have been practical, like say with a Ryan Johnson? Yep. Like he would, he probably wouldn't have been like, uh, I care about the little joke that's in my scene yeah. rather than the practical well, the practice. They send, they send, they introduce in the, in, in Ryan Johnson's version, the, in number eight, they introduce this female lead, right? Right. With, 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 uh, Poe, not Poe, excuse me, um, 
uh, Finn. Yeah. And then they send him on this adventure that gets him nowhere. Right. <laughs> and it was just like, and, and then, you know, you ignore Poe's storyline, like, you know, the development of that character, you know, and then they bring J.J. Abrams back and they ignore Rose, who was right. a, I thought was a great character that they could have built off of. Yep. And they just, again, they also poo-pooed uh, Finn's character and it just became this thing between uh, sexy Adam Driver without a shirt on and Daisy Ridley, right? Yeah. Is that it? Daisy right. Ridley? Yeah. And so, is it Daisy Ridley? Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. And and it just, it, it just, nine just, you know, and everyone got upset about it. And of course, like when, it's just no one, it goes back to our thing. It's like, stop caring so much about something that, you know, is so sacred. That shouldn't be so sacred because it's a goddamn show. It's right. a goddamn movie. Right. Right. Yeah. But now we go on a tangent. This Mandalorian, I thought was one of the best, better episodes of the season. The best episode of this season may be uh, the best episodes of the, this entire series. Wait. Grogu is Baby Yoda's name? Yeah, you read that, huh? Yeah, so, I read this in your in your doc here. Yeah, so what? so I loved. So we'll get to that in a second. I loved Rosario Dawson that she played. Yeah, uh, I, if you can look it up for me, the character she was, uh, she played. Um, God, what the f- Jesus, Zach? This is the problem when you smoke too much weed. By the way, you have a lot of brain farts as you get older. Uh, what was her character's uh, name? Ashoka. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yep. Uh, yep. Uh, Ahsoka. Ah- ah- Ahsoka. It, it's Ahsoka Tano. Yeah, um, Ahsoka Tano. I think, I'm, I think I'm saying it right. And so what I like about this Mandalorian, what I like about them with the storyline is that, um, you know, in the previous episode or two episodes before, they uh, included a Mandalorian from the Taco. They've, they've included these characters from other subsets of the Star Wars universe. Yeah. You know, their animation, the Attack of the, Clo- the, the, Attack of the Clones animation yep. series and a whole bunch of other stuff. And I'm glad that they brought them to life. And I really enjoy these these episodes because every uh, there's a different director. I mean, John Favreau is the overall director, but yeah. every episode he brings in someone new, you know, That's to direct. Great. And I think it's great. But... I thought Rosario Dawson did a great job playing this. I love seeing it. I mean, when you think Star Wars, you think Jedi. And we haven't seen that really until this point. Right. Now, we get to, and I'm not disappointed. Uh, it's a name. I'm not going to go, I'm not going to harp on it. Uh, I made a stupid, you know, we can pull it up here. I made a stupid uh, Vine, uh, not Vine, a reel uh, yeah. about like how I'm so into it. And then they reveal who, what Baby Yoda's name <laughs> yeah. and the child's name is. And it's Groku. Yeah. Groku. No, I'm not Groku. I, <laughs> so is that is that old Yoda's name too? No, no, no. These two have no correlation with each other. From what I understand, they're Baby just, Yoda and actual Yoda are, are the, the same, same person. Species. They're not. No, no. So the oh. Mand- the Mandalorian. Um, I believe I'm correct on this. Uh, takes place in between the Return of the Jedi number six. Where you know Darth Vader dies, Luke you know becomes the Jedi, and Seven. This is like the time in between those two movies. Uh-huh. So the uh, the Empire has fallen, and now it's like you know uh, the Alliance is taking over colonies, and this is the post the post war at this point between six and seven. Interesting. And so this Baby Yoda has uh, the same character. They're not the same character. I they're, in the same s- they're in the same force sensitive species, yeah, according yeah. to Good Housekeeping. Yeah, some some garbage like that. They're the same species, but just saying the same species. That's interesting. Well, that kind of ruins. I mean, that doesn't ruin it. I mean, it's a different species of you know because Yoda is the only is is Yoda the only character that we witness as this species. Uh, or no, are there other Yodas? I think he's the only one. I'm trying to remember one, two, and three. I, but I think in one, two, three, he was that only. He was just a younger version. I've never seen any other yeah, Yoda yeah. character. So I think I, you know, that's weird. It's weird how you think you associate Baby Yoda as being actual Yoda and not just like a like a baby version of the same. Right, you know, right, right, species. right. It's the same species. But again, it's like you know, what do we? No one knows what that species is called. So that's why they call it Baby Yoda. Right. Uh, or they in the show they didn't call it that. They call it the child. The child. The child. The child. Um. I, and listen, I, I, you know, I just think that's like, you know, all this marketing dollars, all this money, you know, y- y- it, the the product, the doll, the figurine, Baby Yoda is the number one seller. I mean, you yeah. slap that thing on socks, it's selling. Yep. And you have all this time to make, you know, to make something uh, just a cute name. It, it doesn't right. have to be Yoda. It doesn't have to be Baby Yoda. You could just left it the child. Right, right. But all of a sudden, it's like you drop this thing. Oh, yes, it's Groku. 
Goroku? Right. <laughs> the whole world stops for yeah, a second. <laughs> and, it's, and, and it's funny. I remember, I so I made this, like, let me pull it up. I made this reel, and I also posted it on TikTok. And, you know, platforms and internet and trolls are funny. But some, <laughs> I was completely joking when I made this. You can pull it up. I think it's, uh, yeah, yeah, Z Dressler. And I think it's like the second or third one on my grid. There it is, the second one. <laughs> so literally, I posted this. I posted this on uh, Instagram, and I also posted on TikTok. And on TikTok, I got like I didn't get hated on, but I got like you know tried to troll by some people. It's like, oh, this is what happens yeah, when you're a Fairweather it. fan. I'm like, dude, <laughs> it's a freaking joke, or it's just like you know, or bandwagon fan. It's like, come on, you're into Groku. Right. You know, Jim would have been a freaking better name. Right. <laughs> <laughs> right. You know, it's it's like, like it's like they took a, a it's like they took a chapter out of uh, Guardians. I want to know the you sample know? size of people that they talk to. Yeah, exactly. It's right. like it's a like Groot and Groku. Right. Yeah. It's literally let's just like Groot uh, and Roku. Let's call him Groku. Let's call him Groku. Yeah. Just dream. You know. So and it's it's like did did somebody in the oh, meeting grow goo, not Groku. I keep on oh, it's saying not Groku. It's okay. Grogu. Grogu. I think it's what it is. Because I was just about to allude like now somebody saying, somebody at Disney in a meeting. It's like they're looking at their like. Uh, you know, their phone. Grogu. They see the Roku. G R O G U. It's Grogu. Grogu. Uh, I think that's even worse. <laughs> <laughs> so I, it's not for us, Zach. <laughs> Who is it for? I don't know. Yoda is a, Yoda is an easy thing to say. Let me get yeah. a Grogu. Yeah, let me get that. You know, I. I so I, is Grogu the species, or is that the name of the baby? Grogu is the name of the child. Ah. That I don't know. Wh I don't think they talk about what species it is. It just, uh, I don't think so. I got to watch it again. Yeah. So I don't know. Mandalorian, I, uh, man. Lots to talk about. I I think it's. Oh, by the way, um, before, before uh, 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 moving on here, I wanted to mention, did you see the, the holiday Lego Star Wars that's on Disney Plus? I haven't yet, dude. It's really good. Is it really it's good? Really I mean, good. I, I love. I love usually all the Lego, Lego Batman, yeah. Lego, like the Lego verse that they've come up with. Uh, it's cool. They they integrate a little bit of the Mandalorian in there, where there's like, there's a great part where, um, um, all the characters are falling through a portal, <laughs> like in the whole Star Wars universe. <laughs> like even even the like Millennium Falcons like in this portal falling with everybody, and then they go through. This world where it's like the Mandalorian and the Baby Yoda like trying to fight, and then they like they just go like in the middle of their fight, and they just go, oh. <laughs> and then they just leave, and then they just start fighting again. Really? Yeah, it's I gotta super check funny. It out. I gotta check it out. They they try to make who, every different reference. Who to are Star the characters? Wars. Who are the characters? Like who are the actors that play these characters? Uh, let me let, let me look. Uh, Lego Holiday Special. Because that's that's another thing is like the guy you know uh, what's his name they got to play Batman, um, in Lego Batman. All right, so um, AJ Locascio is playing Han Solo, Anthony Daniels. How do you play the oh C three PO? I thought it was R T T T O. A bunch of noises. Ben Pendergast, Billy Williams. D ben Baker. Pendergast is Darth Maul. Okay, Billy D Williams is Lando. That makes sense. Oh, they got some really good, uh, great characters. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's a really fun film. Yeah, I gotta check it out. They made it like, like to a nod to the parents. You know, I, yeah. I need to I need to delve more into um, Disney Plus because I uh, I'll yeah. admit I've just done the the Mandalorian, all the Star Wars movies, yeah. and the Marvel movies. I really I haven't and and I'm Moana. You gotta and go on the throwback genre. Yeah, that's what I oh, got to check it's out. It's so fun. It's yeah. like even Stevens and yeah. like Smart Guy. Really? Like, yeah, it's like all the old shit. It's I got to check that out. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, there's a lot of great stuff they have on there. I mean, you know, um I watched Frozen for the very first time on it. So, that was I mean, and then people are like, "What you just saw Frozen in 2020?" It's I like, still haven't seen it. <laughs> <laughs> I had to say like I haven't watched a lot of the the animated movies just cuz I mean, I, I don't get me. I love the Disney animated movies, but I watched a lot of them when I was a kid, and I don't have right. children right now, and a lot of my friends do, so they all see those. And movies. also, like Frozen for me, it I don't get the like like I get why Toy Story is popular, 
Sure. You know, like I, I, I get, I get, you know, like the big, really money makers, and Frozen is one of those Incredibles. things. It's just a different, like a generation, because like you know, I don't, you know, kids that are. But it's going to be a timeless. Ca- it's a timeless class. It's going right. to be like, like kids like that Snow are ten. White. It's going to be all. That it's stuff. like a Snow White. Yeah. Right. Like to them, but to us, it's just like Frozen. Yeah. Whatever. It's just some like Swedish looking town. Yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah. 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 <laughs> you know, yeah, like, yeah. Yeah. But I think it's, I, I thought it was, you know? I thought it was great. I thought it was yeah. um, very well done, and uh, I'll probably watch Frozen too at some yeah. point this month because you know that's what you do when you're locked down. Yeah. But let's go on to uh, before we go on to I have three oh, shows I yes. want to talk about. We'll do the Undoing. The Undoing. And then I know you because you don't you haven't watched it. I haven't heard of it. But I when it, when we before we go, went on. I was like, hey, I'm going to talk about the show on The Undoing. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm probably going to spoil it. He goes, no, I love spoilers. <laughs> I've never met anyone, Indy, that loves <laughs> spoilers. No, I got... Dude, I have to say, anything that I don't have to sit through and know what it is... Interesting. ...is a win. So wait, me. did you? what did you do with... I don't even know if you were into it. Uh, Game of Thrones. Oh, watch the first... Uh, watch the intro to the first episode. Turned it off. So have you I, never? I seen never Game got of, past the title sequence of the very never, first episode. So you've never seen Game of Thrones? Not, not, not more than the first title sequence. I didn't this make it be, through. This might have to be a separate piece <laughs> of content we do once a week. Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. Let's do. Uh, we sit down and watch this because I yeah. love Game of Thrones and I get it. I remember when uh, I w- I didn't hop on board until I think season three or four, and that was my brother got me into it. He made me sit down and watch it, and I remember watching the first two episodes and be like, I'm interested, but this seems kind of fucking stupid and fairy tale and bullshit and like right. wants to be uh, like Lord of the Rings type of thing and then the third episode drops and there's just so much and then every episode after that you're like hooked you're legitimately hooked like yeah. you just got to get passed through you know and then people get all upset about like you know the eighth season sucking and the seventh was another thing where they just try to finish but you know uh, whatever right uh, the undoing I this was so this is a one off series it was only six episodes, I want to say. Uh, yeah, six episodes. Um, there's not. They're not going to make another series season out of this. This was it. Six episodes, and I think it's for many reasons. One, it was really, really well written. They got fantastic actors, so I'm sure that cost a boatload of money. And yeah, it was filmed Nicole in New York, Kidman, which Grant. cost a shit ton of location money. Yep. But this, I mean, if you if you want to read the um, the little what's it about, you know, go ahead to our audience because I'll probably this this write up is probably better than what I could probably describe it in 30 seconds. Actually, you're incorrect. <laughs> what is it? The Undoing is an American oh, oh. Wait, no, sorry. Well, it's like it's just telling you what it is. it's an American mystery psychological thriller miniseries. Okay. That's basically. And it's, it's based uh, on a novel. Based on a novel you should have known by uh Gene Corleitz. Interesting. So okay, I didn't I see I didn't know that. I didn't hey. know that. But it's about um High New York Society. Uh, they're both doctors. She's a psychologist, and he is a um, uh, children's cancer doctor. And uh, basically, um, long story short, he murders uh, this woman who he's, who he's having an affair with, whose son also goes to the same high price school. She's very poor. Or not poor, but there's not as obviously wealthy as, mm-hmm. uh, as uh, Hugh Grant and Nicole Kidman. And they have a son who's, I think, a year older than this kid's, uh, this, uh, the kid's mother who's got who was murdered by right. Hugh Grant, right. who was having an you know affair with. Um, and what I loved about it is, you know, he commits the murder, but they spend five episodes, episode two, three, four, and five, making you think it could be her. It could be the kid. Oh shit! It could be Donald Sutherland, which is Nicole Kidman's father in this thing. And, you know, he's the father-in-law. I mean, they make you. They even make you one point to think it could be uh, her own, the 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 woman that was murdered, her son or her husband. Yeah. You know, it, it, they they do such a good job writing this, and in the end, it just turns out it was Hugh Grant the whole time. <laughs> but because you you even saw it happen. You saw you, him murder them. The no, per- no, oh, you, no, you see. So what you see is throughout the whole thing is flashes of, and it's brutal. The murders. Yeah. It's not like it, this is like <laughs> this is like an, a Law and Order SVU, but like R rated for movies. Yeah, because you see what, what the what you see in the beginning is is her dead body on the floor because her her son right. dis- her son discovers 
uh, oh, perfect. Her son discovers yeah. because she she went to this uh, school event and didn't come home the night before, right. and you know, and then, then we find out the series are unfolding. Um, the uh, can you pull up the casting real quick? Sure. But uh, I'll, g- I'll get into it in a second. Um, Grace okay. Frazier. Yeah, I mean, uh, there's Nicole one, Kidman. There's one actress that I thought did a fantastic job. Can we make those thumbnails bigger at all? Let me see. Uh, I'm remoted in here. No, 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 that's okay. So I'll, I'll continue. So, I mean, basically... Um, Is that good? Yeah, yeah. Okay, Haley Fitzgerald. Hit Norm... Uh, I think it's Noma. Hit, 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 hit that one. I believe that's the actress. Yes, okay. But before I get into this whole thing... Yeah. Um, before I get into the uh, this actress here. But in the... So basically... Uh, they make you think it's what we were talking about. Jeez, I got so sidetracked. What was I telling I'm you? I'm doing. About? Yeah. Well, you said uh, show me the casting really quick. Yeah, but before you, that, you we really were loved the, the the the. Oh, the, the, oh so, so it's it's yeah. it's oh it's like R-rated SVU, and so uh, you don't see who murders her. You just see like these um, pieced together like dreamy moments, and he takes a fucking mallet, dude, and smashes this woman's head in. Oh my god! A bunch of times that when you when they're in court. Because he gets arrested and they're going through this whole court trial. They show the photos and you can't even recognize the woman's face. And this woman, the actress that's playing this woman that dies is stunning. She's like uh, Jennifer Lawrence mixed with like Dua Lipa. She's a beautiful, huh. I, I think, let me see if we can find that photo first. And now that we know, um, what is her name? It's Alves, but it's Elena Alves. Matilda, De, she's, she's a stunner. Yeah, Matilda Day. Yeah, and she's, a, she's, Ellis. she's and, and she does a really good job and she's only in for really one episode she's in the first episode mm-hmm. um now go back and we'll go back to ella uh excuse me uh fitzgerald Hel- Haley fitzgerald or noma i don't even know how to say her last name doom is Wenny. doom is Wenny. thank you i believe that's correct she loki steals the fucking show really because she plays the defendant so she is defending um hugh grant and she knows he did it like the whole time she goes my i'm not here to prove that you're guilty i'm here to make a mess so this way they can't prove that you did it or put reasonable doubt in your head their head Damn. but the way i mean the way she commanded this role dude she was fe- she was awesome. i can see that she was i can awesome. see that for sure um the ending I'll tell you, I'll be honest. Uh, at first, at first I was pissed because I think when you've seen all these HBO episodes and you've seen a lot of recent shows, you want that crazy twist. You didn't want Hugh Grant to be the murderer. You wanted some crazy, like you wanted to be Donald Sutherland somehow, you know, or Nicole right. Kidman or even some, you know, some random person that wasn't, because you were just like, maybe it's not him, maybe it's not him. Right. And the way it ended was basically... Uh, Nicole Kimmon betrays, not betrays, but like, was like, I'm done with this. And like, basically, um, uh, shows that, uh, Hugh Grant's character, Jonathan Frazier is a sociopath, a psychopath. Right. Like he shows no remorse for death and it through all, and you should watch it cause it's great. But he ends up, you know, the day that, that, that he's going to get, uh, his verdict, he ends up taking Nicole Kidman's and their kid that they share, you know, that they had, mm-hmm. and going on some trip. And they just show him driving uh, to upstate New York, and he gets to, you know, they find out, you know, like they send out Amber Alert, like everybody's chasing him, you know. And uh, in the end, I mean, I'm doing a horrible job explaining the story. I'm sure I'll get crushed for it. But I'll second that, by the way. Thank you. Um, <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> but it's... It, it, he ends up like pulling over to a uh, pulling on this bridge and thinking about committing suicide in front of his son with the cops surrounding him. And then he and Nicole Kidman ends up sort of like talking him down off the bridge and yeah. he ends up getting arrested. And that's the end of it. Like he just goes to jail for life for how many, you know, you know, for murder. Yeah. And that's the end of it. And that, you know, I, I, and it's I kind thought, of like a waste your time movie. Yeah, well, it's not. It's, it's, it's a six part series. But like, oh, again, yeah, yeah, it's like part, yeah. what we knew in episode two. We just knew in episode. It was just confirmed in episode six. But they, that's what I'm saying about the writing is that they did such a fantastic yeah. job making you think the whole time it, it, it could possibly be him. But it could that's, possibly that's be the best type of writing. I mean, like yeah. I remember I remember, go, you know, in college doing, you know, s- you know, story structure or whatever. And I remember my writing teacher saying, you know, if you can show the audience the result yeah, and 
try and and they know the result and they have a firm understanding on who did it or what or what ha- you know who done yeah, it yeah right? yeah yeah if you can oh, make make a good good uh uh if if you can make people think that it Uh-oh, wasn't the background has changed <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt you. <laughs> That's fine. Don't worry about it. We, Don't worry about it. <laughs> People are already past it. Oh, I know. <laughs> if, you're, if you're tuned in this far, I, I applaud you. Yes, definitely. Um, but it's funny. It's like that. It's just that much better writing when yeah. you already know the result, but you're still watching. Yep, exactly. Right. right. Exactly. I completely agree. Yeah. Now that we've talked about that, now we can talk about something we both watched together. Uh, Great British Bake Off. Oh my gosh! Uh, last week was the final. Yes, uh, it was Pete, David, and Laura. If I'm correct, right? Yes. Okay. Yes, Laura. Oh my god! So wh- I have no idea how she made it that far. <sighs> right? I really don't. I I don't know if you're just reading what I wrote on the sheet, or you're agreeing with me, or just like you know. Uh, I point. haven't even read it. Oh, okay. I I I agree. Um, I think that I don't know. I don't know what the judges were thinking. I don't know what the showrunners were thinking. I don't know why this played into. I mean, she literally the opening montage of the final the final episode, which was the finals. Um, it was a, a series of three or four cuts of hers, her failures in other yeah competitions in previous episodes. Yeah, and I'm not saying that like I just think if if that was the only option, but there was. I mean, she shouldn't have lost to Lottie and whatever Lottie the, the in week yeah, six or whatever it was, I that. you know. Uh, and, and you know, again, it's uh, they judge on the week, but like uh, the week before, Hermine. As I'm saying, I think I'm yeah. saying she should have won. Yeah. She she yep. was she got Star Baker twice. Yep. You know, she. I mean, she was not to mention clean. She was consistent. Yeah. I don't give a shit if your stations. Clean. No, but like also that. Sure, <laughs> come on, sure. <laughs> but she was she was she was consistent. Yeah. With Pete and David the whole time, I mean, it was that it would have just made the final so much more, um, uh, just uh, a better contentious, it contentious. Thank yeah. you. It would just yeah. been a better TV, and it was just her. Uh, she messed up the first challenge. She's crying. She messed up the second challenge. She's trying not to cry, you know. And then like yeah. every single, and this is like at every single episode when they were, uh, you know, rating her. It's like the flavors are there. The flavor. Okay, great. Yeah. But you know what? The whole product didn't come together, bro. <laughs> yeah, it literally looked like a dumpster that tasted great. Like, great. I'm we sure didn't ask for a dumpster. When we get, when yeah. you have, I, I, listen, I love ice cream. You know what I love more? When the right. ice cream all melts together. It doesn't mean right. that it's the best. It, it doesn't mean that it's 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 a great, <laughs> a great bake. Yeah, it's 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 interesting because every single time it was uh, Paul Hollywood going, it, it looks atro- it looks that. atrocious. But I haven't really tasted anything yeah. better than this, and, yeah. it, and we're just like, are you kidding me? She she wrote. I feel like she she really rose uh, to where she was. That got to the finals because she crushed it with that key lime pie and pie. Oh wood. yeah, and Paul yeah. loves a key mm-hmm. lime pie. Yeah, and she really cr- and ever since then he was like, well, I mean, we're just waiting for that next key lime pie girl. It's like you ain't gonna get it, Paul. <laughs> you, you ain't gonna get it, bro. Yeah, yeah. And and I I was actually pretty surprised when the uh, uh, the young guy won. I was, uh, was um, I wasn't surprised. You weren't surprised. No. I thought I thought the other guy had it in the bag. I I, well, I knew okay. Laura. We all knew Laura was gone. I I yeah. I thought I thought David had it in the bag yeah. until um what's the la- the challenge the last challenge is signature. Yeah, it was the signature. Um, so he it seemed like he nailed it. Everything looked great. Right. But apparently his flavors sucked. Yeah. Or his, his texture. I think it was a couple of those texture things that kind of sucked. Right, because his looked impeccable. Yeah, yeah. And but I, but it was like it was like the opposite of. And of, again, uh, I think it goes back to Laura. when it's that close, and you're at the finals at this point. Then they look at the whole body of work, what you've done this season, and and the dude Peter was. I mean, they're both consistent, but he won Star Baker twice. I don't know if David won twice. I know he won once. Yeah. Um, and you just gotta you know you gotta add it up. You gotta add it up and. Yeah. I, I I honestly thought when they were coming out to give um, the awards, they were going to do a split. They were going to be. Like I th- yeah, I for a second the I was the way like, they built it, the way yeah. they built it, and I really loved um, the two the two hosts. I mean, Noel, Noel is uh, great. Yeah, Noel uh, and the bald guy, yeah. whoever he is. Well, he's from guy? Great uh, Big Little Britain or uh, Little, yeah. little Britain or something like that. He's a little uh, uh, frightening. In a uh, in a good sure, way, sure, sure. No, yeah, he's yeah, frightening yeah. in a great way. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You did you ever watch Halloween Town? 
Halloween Town. It was no. a Disney. It was like a B movie on Disney Channel. No, last Halloween movie it was unfortunately Hubie Halloween with Adam Sandler. <laughs> unfortunately, that was a true. Well, well, anyway, in Halloween Town, uh, they they uh, they uh, uh, these kids walk into a room where a gigantic man is is in a sweat box, an old timey sweat box where you're like your head's popping out yeah, of the box. Yeah, 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 yeah. And, and he just reminds me of that scene. Any, anybody uh, for the Halloween Town folks. Yeah. <laughs> But yeah, man. I mean, yeah. I love I love the Great British Bake Off. Um, I think that they're coming out with like they always do the holiday specials uh, around this time, so they'll bring like four of their famous bakers back and do like some holiday yeah. competition. I'm sad to see it end, um, you know, because and 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 they and you know, I didn't realize this until the final. I mean, I knew throughout the whole series, but it didn't really click with me that they shot this during quarantine and the way they did it differently yeah you know i'm i'm the bubble yeah yeah and, and i'm glad that it worked out um you know because it's great to see new programming out there it's, i think it's yeah you know there has there's been movies out but it just doesn't feel like the movies are movies because we don't have we can't go see them in theaters Right. And, uh, and like even theater, even the studios are like, you're not going to want to watch this until we're back in the theaters <laughs> either. Yeah. Like so, some are on digital, but like even, you know, a well, lot of I studios mean, are just waiting for next year. Yeah. Even after. Uh, and, and who knows that? I mean, I'm curious because um, and we'll talk about this next week or in the future episodes. You know, uh, back in May, they were supposed to release a couple of action movies, Marvel and DC. DC was supposed to release Wonder Woman 1984, and Marvel was supposed to release uh, Black Widow. Yep. And Marvel still hasn't done it yet. They're going to wait until the theaters come up. But I, I don't know if uh, DC's just given up, but they're releasing Wonder Woman on November, on December 25th uh, Digital. On, on HBO. HBO Max. HBO Max. Yeah. And I don't know if you have to pay extra for it, if it's like I one of those. I think you do. I'm sure you do. I, but Star Wars... Oh no! But that Star Wars already came out. I was to say because Star Wars well, they released it. Disney on, f- Disney did it for yeah, yeah. Mulan. Was it Mulan that came? Yeah, out? yeah, Mulan. I, 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 they had like, to pay. Who wants to pay thirty bucks for Mulan? It was thirty bucks. Yeah, yeah. I I, I liked cartoon Mulan. I, I, the that's another topic we can get like these whole brought to life movies. Right. Me. But well, you uh, could tell it's like a it's like an initiative at a company, right? Like yeah. Remember it was uh, Dumbo, Mary Poppins. Um, I like uh, Poppins. Christopher Robin. But See, Mar- it's these all. But Mary it's these, Poppins. Uh, Mary Poppins was was not really as much anime, except for that one scene. Well, no. What I'm saying is like uh, making the animated or making the old classic. A new modern thing, sure, right? Where it's like you have literally, it's just like you could see hate, an initiative. Yeah, I know? can see that. But I, yeah. what I hate more is that, and I, you know, people. This is just the way Hollywood is in terms of it's, um, you know, everything is remake. Nothing is original anymore. But to take a cartoon and try to make it this like you know funky. I mean, The Lion King was okay. You know, The Jungle Book was okay. Uh, I never saw. Um, uh, Beauty and the Beast. I heard that was fantastic, you know. But again, f- from what perspective are we looking at? Right. Anyway, we can talk about that other time. I feel like we're running out of time. We're we're going over time, not running out of time. But uh, yeah, bring those crickets in here. <laughs> Let me get the bring the hook, bring the ladder, bring it all. Um, I enjoyed this. This was a lot of fun. <laughs> I enjoyed Indy, thank you so much. I look of forward course. to this again next week. Yeah, thank uh, you everybody for watching the Zach Dressler show. Oh, this, right. this is the first of many, and it's going to be a great escapade. And, um, you know, we just love to have Zach in our lives, don't we? Oh, thanks, Indy. Of course. I'm going to go home and cry now. Course. Well, well, uh, I guess I don't want to end your show, but you you can uh, you can end your show. Uh, thanks for everybody that tuned in. If you made it this far, uh, join us next week. We'll be back. Uh, you know, subscribe button, whatever you want to do. Peace. Oops. <laughs> what is that like an hour? Uh, we're at hour twenty five. Oh, yeah. See everybody. I didn't, I didn't think we were going to talk that long. Me neither. <laughs> <laughs>